Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Platter 2. My name is Nisi and today we are going to go over the Chinese alligator mod. Uh, which is, to be honest, in, in uh, Nixis where we download the mod, it is called um, <laughs> Chinese alligator by uh, Fonetic. Uh, and Fanatic is who uploaded it. Uh, in this video, just to make it easier, I just called it Chinese Alligator, but it is in Nexus called uh, Chinese Alligator by Fanatic. And it is created by Fanatic, of course, but also Journal Pizza and Leaf Production. Um, which Fanatic, I do believe we have looked at some of his mods before, but not that many. I only for Journal Pizza is kind of old on this channel. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, we have this Chinese alligator here. You see here, just to compare. I do feel like the picture I have below here is a little bit darker and have some a little bit of the lightness down here that many of the crocodilians and caimans also have. It is lighter down here though. Uh, when I l looked at it as an alligator, I thought it was a big creature, but compared to the American one, which we have out here, gonna move it here. Um, it is kind of a very, very small creature. I will say though the male here is this one, so here the male appears to be bigger than the females that we have here uh, and there. So um, the Chinese alligator don't just build an alligator habitat and assume that it's gonna work the same because it is clearly much smaller and the coloration is also quite different. Uh, again, it the American one is wet, like the ones we have over here. So the color is closer than it appears here. But uh, oh, they're biting or kissing. I'm not really sure. They do something. Did they just mate? Is that how they mate? I can't. I click on you there. Yeah, now she is pregnant, so apparently uh, they made by biting. Let's jump into Zoopedia here, and the picture is a beautiful picture, but it doesn't really show up the animal that much. It is critical in danger, and there are around 300 left in the wild. Um, so we're gonna jump in here, and it lives in China, of course. We should be down here. They live in a aquatic, tropical, timbered and grassland biome. And one of them only need 20 square meters of land and 50 of water. They don't need deep water, but they do dive. I have even seen them dive over here. And you can see this isn't a big pool of water down here. It's very shallow. It's only deep enough so the feeder works and nothing else and it, as you can see, uh, uh, the most of the water here is quite shallow. Um, yeah, I got an albino, I am gonna show you that uh, with, when we go for the close up, not that button, that button. Um, you, they live from 6 to 42 degrees celsius and you need a great two fins, 4 feet 95, so that's around a meter and 60 70 them they are round so um you can have quite a big group of them uh, from one to ten and male and female ratio doesn't matter aggression level equals to dominance i guess that means the more dominant the more aggression but it doesn't specify gender here uh, that doesn't mean that it doesn't have uh, that it don't have something to do with gender but it just isn't specified here that it's either the males or females. So it can be both, it can be one of them. Uh, they are polyamorous and they are confident around humans. Guests should not enter the habitat. They grow to a 
the males 1.5 to 2.1 meter that would be four four to five and a half meet, uh, feet sorry uh, and the same for the females they live for around 65 years which is kind of a long lifespan comparing to the other crocodilians i have looked at and the males weigh around 45 kilos the females only 40. double that then you have it in pounds um they reach sexual maturity at age five and they reproduce until they die you can give between two and seven offspring every year and they are pregnant for three months they should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity um they don't have any interspecies enrichment but we have some over here and you cannot go into habitat and search for alligator because the alligators will have a lot more uh, for instance they have the big balls where the chinese alligator here have the small balls so you can't use that search engine that way we have the mud bath we have only the one water jet here the plastic one rubber doggy blood scent marker and the sprinkler system for food enrichment we have the restrained feeder a uh, plot blood scent uh, what's it called frozen blood pumpkin uh, and frozen fish and then we have this underwater feeder but only the old version not the newer one shouldn't we just take the uh, female here you were a female also i just kind of moved this up here so we can compare the two and i know now they are not looking the same way size there are a tiny bit of size difference but that's they're both females and they're the same species so that's just because one is bigger than the other well let's just start with the eyes if you have seen my caiman videos i have a thing for reptilian eyes and this is actually quite good it's not the best but it's quite good actually there is something weird going on right there where it looks like the eye is spilling out a tiny bit of color but it isn't bad going over here the eye seems actually completely black that may be the sun i'm, I'm gonna try and turn this around just so we can get the sun on the other side here there no, the eye is actually quite darker over here. We still have the reptilian eye, but it's way darker. So you have to look for it, but you can't see the pupil in here. And then it's darker out here, but it's way darker than the albino one. The teeth should be the same. They actually look more yellow for the uh, albino, but that may have something to do with the white background where when you have the um gray target background they don't appear that way but i do feel like they're way yellow if we are over there i do assume that the build of them is the same but it's the paintwork that's different it has this pinkish hue a lot of places the albino one here and um, the scales i don't to be honest i don't like albino reptilians because i think they quickly start to look unfinished where here you can see all of the paintwork that went into it where the albino actually looks like someone forgot to put on the paint um also if you were a child and had a lot of those small animal figures i had hundreds of them and when i played with them for a long time then at some point i start rubbing the paint off oh uh, i think it's combination of touching the melod and but body heat and body oh they can't hi ninja hi sweetie um sorry um uh, an oil from the fingers and rubbing and all this kind of stuff that made the paint go off it kind of reminds me of that 
uh, where I do feel like this is much more beautiful, this is much more uh, deep in the coloration, but that's a personal thing. Uh, but it's the sa same if you like Pokemon, then some people love the shinies. S most of the shiny, I get the feeling that there's a reason why it's not the real color. They chose the best color for the Pokemon, and then they just have to choose some other color for the shiny. Let's get it. Oh, she wants out. Just a thing. Um, sorry, it's because they have a cat door and, uh, out in the hallway, but they don't like using that if the window is open, <laughs> But so they jump in here to get out in the hallway, which is kind of stupid, um, but they do that. Uh, but I know some of you guys will absolutely love this uh, albino one. Uh, so, so as a, what, whatever I say about it, it isn't bad. It's just not what I personally prefer, which are the true color, uh, which is this one. But um, besides that, uh, I feel like when you look at them like this, I like the albino one. I don't know what just happened there. Um, oh, the tail when it moves, it looks funky. Um, I do feel like when you play the albino looks much better than it does in the close-up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I have a love for reptilian. Oh, we have the baby right here. You just made that baby. Good girl. Oh, oh. Don't walk that far. They are cute, they are. Yeah, I won't get any albino baby because she's like 17% in fertility, so we don't count off that. But they are... I actually feel like there's more love put into this than the grown-up, the coloration. But once again, the coloration do fade over time on a lot of reptilians. So therefore, it does make sense. It may have the same dark art. I as the uh, mom, I I guess that if you have a really bad computer, uh, then you will have an issue with the eyes where they will appear just black, but they are not. Um, but your computer need to be able to actually show those deep dimensions to show it off. Um, but it looks so cute. So cute, that little reptilian baby. And they're going straight for the water. I do feel like they are a little big compared to the mom though. Like, I know they would normally lay eggs and then the egg would hatch. But the, they are very big compared to the mom. And the American alligator looks like someone who is going for a dinner. Yeah, just walk through there. That makes enough sense. But uh, honestly, it's yeah, it's the only alligator mod we have that doesn't affect the um, quality. Though I do feel like it's a good mod and it works perfectly. I haven't seen any funky things with it. You know, a lot of mods we have these small things that the mod is missed, and I don't feel like there's any of the, those here. I do feel like when a lot of mothers work together on something, then it limits the risk of small funky things. Because when you stare at something for a long time, and maybe you've been working on another issues, and then you just have the idea in your head, then that when I just fix this, then it's done. Then you just your what you you know what I mean? Uh, your mental capacity is just like you think it's fine because you fixed the problem, but maybe you oversaw a smaller problem somewhere else. 
uh, but by having multiple models work on the same design, I do feel like they limit the possibilities of these small kinks. Um, and as I said, you need limited water to get them to swim. Um, or not limited, but a minimal amount of water, which I really appreciate. And they looks like the the level in the water here is just perfect they have the smallest part of the bag their eyes sometimes without nostrils over water and that's the perfect amount we want for a crocodilian we want them to lay just there in the water maybe make the water murky uh this is amazonian but you get to just I actually thought that was more blurry. Uh, toxic cosmic cow. Why can you put all of these things in toxic midnight ashore? Dirty water there. Then you can see here they could really hide in the water um, if they want to, and then just attack. That actually looks very cool if you saw that just disappearing there. Um, so it is an animal where I feel like with the right habitat, these will be perfect. Uh, and especially if you have a small corner and you feel like the American alligator is too big or you want a Asian zoo or something like that, then this mud is perfect for that. So... Um, yeah, sorry, I've, I've been talking way too long about this. So, you know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll find the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys!